What up, world? This is Fat Man DD1, the only one you love, and let's get into this segment. This is a segment I like to call The Seven Fucks I Don't Give. Give, give, give. Now, fuck number one. It's kind of hard to get into this. Now, certain people may have your opinions. If you have your opinions, this will be on my YouTube, so post your comments down below. And like it and share it with your friends. But, sometimes you feel like this. The first fuck I don't give, religion. Now, I'm not saying I hate all religions. I'm just saying, the problem I have with most religions is when I try to talk with somebody about other religions, it escalates into a big-ass argument. Now, at least... A person that I have known and other people that I've talked with about religion, they have understand my point of view. That's perfect. Now, I hate it when other people don't understand your point of view. Now, when you're trying to get your point across, they cut you down the size. They make fun of you. They poke at what you believe in. And now, that's just kind of degrading as a human being. I know what I love in all individuals. Now, I believe a lot of humans are dicks. I just believe that. We are all dicks. And then sometimes we're not dicks, okay? We have our ups and downs. Basically, yes, I'm contradicting myself. That's not fair, fat man. You can't contradict yourself. Shut the hell up. It's my video. You have to understand, when you're trying to get your point through about something, make sure you can get it through. Even if it's about religion topics, I believe most religion is what you practice in and believe in in human nature. If you believe in the world and the essence and something big out there, fine. Practice it. Do what you can and just long as no one tries to convert you to another religion and you forcibly say, you know what, I'll practice your religion and I'll be polytheistic like everyone else out there in the world should be. Or atheist, whatever. If you don't believe in nothing, fine. But at least let me get my point through. I fucking hate that when someone tries to cut me down and I can't get a point through. I have valid points about religion and what they all stand for. But then again, I can't get my shit across. Who the hell are you to tell me that my word doesn't mean nothing? Now, that's the first fuck I don't give about certain people in religions. Next time, people out there, let me get my point across. Stop being so closed-minded. The Bible, the Quran, and other stuff out there may say this, but nowadays, it doesn't really work to human knowledge. If you believe in science, fine. If you believe in science and religion, okay. That's even wonderful. That means you're finally giving in to something that's understandable. Something bigger out there than yourself. Now, moving on... Now, fuck number two. This is very understandable, and it happens in a lot of communities, and I'm not going to just hit a hundred subjects at one time. I'm going to have a million fuck I don't give videos, but this is kind of understandable. Fuck number two, girls calling themselves the B word. Now, ladies, I understand that you have full independence in yourself. Fine. You can say you a bad crazy B. You could say you were horrible, understandable, and give a fuck me. You could tell someone, I don't give the numbers of how many fucks since I'm the baddest bitch around. Understandable. But when you call yourself a bitch, you know you're calling yourself the most disrespectful word that men use you as. Men call girls bitches just because we get mad and because they probably always yap it. We're not supposed to call you a bitch. But sometimes it happens like that. And men get tight. We call other guys bastard ass motherfuckers. Excuse me for my language, but that happens. But I'm mad when a girl calls herself that because I'm just like, you lost all respect for yourself just like I just lost a tiny bit of chival respect for you. Like, I'm supposed to be chivalrous for most women. And I just lost the respect that I was going to give you until you called yourself that. If you got mad at someone and be like, you are you playing? I'm the baddest bitch around. Who are you playing? Like, understand the boy, you get mad and upset. Fine. But at some point, you're not supposed to use that word repeatedly. Fine. You're an African-American woman. You're a white girl. Fine. Most white girls don't know dilly squat and they call themselves bitches. Most black girls, you already know what happens in the black community. We're supposed to treat ourselves with the most up respect. We're supposed to be there. But I hate it. Like, I'm like, why do girls, like, why do girls just call themselves bitches? That's disrespectful to yourself and who raised you. Your father or mother raised you. And if they heard you say you called yourself a bitch, they're just going to be like, that's not my daughter. They, they could disown you right there if they wanted to, but they can't because they still love you. They just know your decisions is what you make when you get older. You're not going to go to work like, I'm the baddest bitch. You should hire me. I'm like, no, have some respect for yourself, ladies. This is the second fuck I don't give. Now, moving on. Now, fuck number three. A lot of people really don't think this is uh, something that will get you mad. But hey, as a guy and as an understanding person, this will get any person mad. 
fuck number three is compliments. Now, I love holding the door for people. I love those type of things. But I don't just do it to do it. I do it to hear something nice out your mouth. Now, a lot of people say, that's not fair. You're supposed to be nice un- involuntarily. What are you talking about? This is a free country. I don't have to do nothing. But I do have to work. But this ain't getting me money. So I'm just going to rant about it. Fuck number three is basically, how come people don't give you compliments anymore like that? Like, if I hold the door open, I hold the door open for people, I at least get compliments. I hold the open, door open for people, I don't get nothing but, like, move out my way. Excuse me. Now, I don't give a fuck when a person is trying to be rude on purpose. That's just gives me all right to cut you down to size like anybody else. Like a woodchuck tree. Like, how much wood can a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck chuck chuck wood? But, on the other hand, if I give you a compliment, I'm supposed to hear thank you, oh, you're so nice, and something like that. People love being compliment and that's giving you a lot of respect now i'm not supposed to disrespect you and call you a non-hard-working jackass that makes me feel undisrespectful and no one wants to be undisrespectful but compliments are the best way to start the ground basis of some type of friendship make sure you give a person a compliment moving on number four number four is basically understandable now a lot of guys do this and it goes back to the same thing like girls sagging now, don't get me wrong. Sagging is pretty disgusting. To be honestly, if it's hot outside, my dude, pull your pants up. It makes you look degrading as a human. When your mother ever had to come outside and tell you how to fix your clothes, there are some type of problems deep down with there. Fixing your clothes as an individual. You don't go to a work interview sagging like a thug. Then you're, then you're just not coming in at all because they're going to tell you to pull your pants up. Be respectful of yourself, just like girls. Like, understandable, if you're a different gender and you're trying to be like a guy, you either. I don't care if you're a lesbian, I don't care if you're bisexual, I don't care if you're the boy in the relationship, don't sag. It's nasty. And a lot of people will tell you it's nasty. Don't just be, don't try to defend something that's stupid. Oh, it's hot outside. My pants went down. I got too much stuff in my pocket. Are you making up excuses just so you can sag? That's the most dumbest thing a human can do. We make excuses every day, understandable. But you don't have to make an excuse for sagging your pants. And now in other countries, or part of the state, you get arrested for that. Don't sag. Basically, don't sag. Number five. Right now, number five is understandable. This isn't fuck a lot of people really shouldn't, but do care about jobs. Now, a lot of people get mad when they can't find the right job or the most understanding job. I get mad when people tell me, you have a job. Now, rubbing it in is like cutting my wounds with salt and lemon. It burns to a degrading extent. Don't rub in, oh, I'm getting paid. Don't rub it in because you, you don't know what that can do to another person. They feel bad on their luck already. You rubbing it in harder is just making it like really, really sickening. Like, people are broke. A lot of things just happen. Hey, it happens. A lot of people get broke sometimes. A lot of people go through hard times, and they say it's hard out there. I get sick of hearing that as well. But this degrades the F out of me, just like everyone else does. Why do you rub it in? You have a job. Don't make sure you don't rub that into other people, because then that makes you sound all big, macho, and tough. But then other people just make you sound like a dick. It just makes you sound like a dick. And don't get me wrong. If I had a job, I would totally rub it in. All right, I'm contradicting myself too, but I'll rub it in the privacy of my own home. I'll rub it in to myself just because I'm proud of myself for getting that job. I won't do it around my friends because I'm going to make them feel bad if I don't have a good, hardworking job. And that's not fair for some people to be like, oh, you have a job. Don't rub it in. I just hate when some people think you're, they're higher class than because they have a job. Because, oh, I went through college and I got this job. No, I'm right now I'm not in school, but it's hard for me to get that one job. I don't give a fuck when you rub it in. Just make sure you're not in front of me because I'm going to get really mad and punch you. Now, that's number five. Number six. Now, fuck number six is very understandable. I really never cared for this, but it's kind of important for all of us to have it. It's called education. Now, you can go... Back to the days when you were coming up and you wondered education was going to be this hard and bullshit. Now, when you go through the days of going through school, walking through the hallway, saying hi to your friends like you always do, what did you think your education was all about? What determined all the force in your mind to say, this is going to be what I want to get into? Now, it doesn't matter how fast the person can spit, write, or how much poetry that can come out your ass, but what makes you designed to do 
the most incredible things? What makes you, in general? Education, I don't give a fuck about education sometimes. I used to, but I, I do now just because I realize in the near future I'll need it more than ever. And then everybody else will need even more because education, they're not, they always ask, it sounds like they're asking for too much, but then again, they're never, they never are. They're always asking for you to try and struggle and do your best, but then again, they don't help you out. Colleges, after it gets harder and harder, colleges lose that help mentality. They don't help you. They don't help you with the questions. They don't give you straightforward stuff. It's not middle school or high school no more. They can't baby you. They're supposed to prepare you for the real world. High school or college doesn't really do that. They just put work in front of you. You're basically in a glorified high school again. You go to college or in high school again, and your education is suffering just because you're not used to this crap. Now, I don't like education because at one point they don't help you with nothing. And then they say, oh, we do. No, you don't. You basically never helped nobody. Most education people got, they just learned from the streets and then gone to school and done it. But most teachers that teach are just crappy. L learn from picking your teachers. Make sure they're not someone disgusting as a pervert. And make sure your teachers know what they're talking about. Because if you don't, your education is going to suffer. Care for it. And then again, I don't like when people don't care for it. So fuck them. Number seven is basically understandable. Fat man. Alright, this is something that a lot of people will and eventually already know. Now, what makes a person a person? They have to know their shit. Now, this isn't really towards other people, but this is kind of is. Is not is, will be, maybe not. You'll find out soon. Fuck number seven. This is my final fuck. I will have more I don't give a fucks about certain shit. I don't give a fuck when people who don't know the world. The world is big and vast. It's not just your street corner to your light, to your subway, to down the block. Know the world, people, for real. Know what's happening. Right now, I hope Nelson Mandela actually gets out of the hospital and is fine. Because he's going to be 95 years old. Once he's 95 years old, he's actually the most living African-American influence in the world. And I don't mean Obama. So, right now, Nelson Mandela is going to make it. And I'm happy. I think my teacher is happy because she's a... She's the biggest fan of Nelson Mandela out there. Got all his books, read all his stuff. Biggest fan ever. Shout out to Miss Bell. But still, there's a lot of people out there that don't know the world. And I get mad at that when you don't know the world, but you only know what's happening in your part of the world. Fine. Understandable. The world doesn't concern you because you're not out there. But when you go out there and explore it and bring in all the knowledge that's out there, like from China, from other countries, from wherever you're going to be a little more influenced about what you know and you're going to influence your kids now make sure you do that because certain people don't get the luxury of doing that and certain people are stuck in a country forever for the rest of their lives the caste system in india they don't go up they don't go down they can't they can't do what we do we can go up like we can do that other people can't and that's not fair you know and people say oh life's not fair no life isn't fair because basically we have freedom it's just we're not free to choose where we were born, but we're free to do everything else that we can, obviously. Sometimes humans are lazy, but on the other times, we're just hardworking dumbasses. But make sure you know the world, because the world is not just one side to die. It's also a million sides. People can change, and people can't change. And then again, people like me can contradict themselves a hundred ways to hell. But understand, you know what you're doing. This is Fat Man with his seven fucks. I don't give. Thank you for watching. Subscribe. Check out the videos. Peace out. Because I'm Fat Man. You not. So fuck you. I'm out.